Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how you can solve equations and inequalities in your calculator directly. Uh, now, although you have to show your working in the exam, you can use this for verification purposes. So let's start with the quadratic function first of all. If you had, uh, have a quadratic equation that looks like this, 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals 0, you can actually solve this equation directly on your calculator and find the final answers like this. So you go to menu and this class was version. Uh, I will go to menu and then you have this option after nine. Uh, it's at the position A. It says equation or function. You press the equal button here and then you have two options simultaneous equation and polynomial. Quadratic function is basically a polynomial. You press two here. What's the degree of quadratic function is two. Now you just put the values of a, b, and c here. This is in standard form. You need to have the function in standard form. x squared is the first term, x is, x is the second term, and constant is the third term, and zero on the right side. So now two is the first coefficient. You put two here. Press the equal button. Seven is the second coefficient. Press the equal button. And then minus four is the third uh, constant. Press the equal button again. And now when you press the equal once more, you get the first x value that's the solution that's 1 over 2 and then you press the equal button again you get the second x value which is the other solution which is negative 4. So these are the two solutions that we have for this equation okay and now what's interesting is if you press the equal button equal button again it also shows you the turning point of the graph for so you can also find turning points of quadratic functions directly on your calculator so in this case the turning point the x coordinate of that is minus 7 over 4 and the y coordinate of the turning point, when you press the equal button again, that's minus 81 over 8. So you can base, you can find all of this information from your calculator directly. Now, working is important. This is only for verification purposes. All right. Now, you can also solve cubic equations and quartic equations uh, using the same function here. So when you go to equation, polynomial, you've got options for degree 3 and degree 4 as well. You'll be using... Uh, them in paper three later on in the polynomials topic to again verify your answers. You can also solve simultaneous equations. So if you go back to that function again, at number one you see this option of solving simultaneous equations, right? Let's look at that, that this time. Now, how many how many unknowns do you have? In this case, it's uh, two unknowns, two equations, and two unknowns. Now you need your equations to be in this form, x and y terms on the left side, constant term on the right side. What's the first equation? 2x plus 4y equals 10. So I'll put 2 here once, and then I put 4 here as the coefficient of y, and then the constant term on the right side is 10. And then the second equation is 3x minus 12y, so the next, next coefficient is minus 12, and then on the right side, I've got 20. Now, when I press the equal button here, that gives me the value of x, that's 50 over 9. And then press the equal button again, that gives you the value of y, which is minus 5 over 18. Again, showing the working when you're solving these equations is necessary. You can just use this for verification. All right. You can also solve inequalities in your calculator. Quadratic inequalities. A lot of people struggle with that, uh, at least uh, especially with the signs at the end. You can check your calculator you can actually solve these inequalities on a calculator to figure out the signs as well if you are confused about that all right so let's say you have this quadratic inequality right next to equation button you have this inequality option let's press the equal uh, button there what's the degree of this polynomial it's again a quadratic inequality so we press two here we could also solve cubic and quartic here again they will be helpful later on in paper three when i press two here i get these options there are four possibilities, right? Either you can have a greater than sign or less than sign, greater than equal to sign or less than equal to sign. Which one do we have? Greater than equal to? So we press button three here. And now we put the coefficients. Two minus seven minus four. And that's it. Press the equal button now. And you get these two results. X less than or equal to minus one over two or x is greater than or equal to 4. You get those answers here directly. Now, in this case, this process is important, solving uh, the equation to find these two intercepts. But then you can just write down 
these inequality signs by looking at your calculator and that's all right okay because there's no working that you have to show in order to go from this step to this step okay all right so that's it i hope that was helpful if you found, if you found this video helpful make sure that you share with others so more people more people could benefit also uh, you can find a lot of other helpful content on my youtube channel have a look at that and make sure to subscribe and let me know if you have any specific questions in the comments below as well i'll see you again in another video i love us